Hello and welcome to the Sport for Business Daily. We're joined this morning by Jamie Barlow from Trinity Sports Management, who leapt onto our radar with the victory of Sam Bennett in the Tour de France. Jamie looks after Sam's commercial interests. You're very welcome, Jamie. Thanks, Rob. Thanks for uh, thanks for having me. Tell us, it must have been a pretty spectacular period of time. There was always the hope, but he delivered. Uh, you know, in stage 10 of the Tour de France, one of only six Irish cyclists to actually achieve that very highest level of the sport. What's it going to mean to Sam's career? Um, I think it's, it's one of those things he, a, a lot of bike riders dream of, of winning at the highest level and winning the Tour de France or stages of the Tour de France. Uh, Sam has shown for many years that he, he's been knocking on the door. He's won uh, at the highest level of the sport in the, in the other two Grand Tours, which are the Vuelta, Espana, and the, and the Giro d'Italia. And, uh, and, and, and the stage win in the Tour uh, hadn't quite come yet. Um, so I think it's, first of all, a massive relief for him. Um, everyone in the sport has known that he is, he is quick enough and disciplined enough to win at that level, but you still have to go and do it. Um, so yeah, a, a massive, massive win. Uh, he's 29 years old and in cycling you tend to peak uh, a little bit later than other sports. So Sam has five, six, seven years ahead at, at the highest level of the sport. Um, and uh, yeah, I guess if you look at back home now during, during lockdown and, and quarantine, cycling is probably one of the sports that has benefited massively uh, with gyms closed and, and team sports uh, not operating to full capacity. So I think in, in general for cycling, it's, it's fantastic to see, uh, to see it get some coverage. And, um, and yeah, hopefully he can win some more stages before, uh, before the end of the race. As a sport, it did do well during lockdown, and we've had a successful national championship out in um, the Sundrive Velodrome. The hope, the plan is still that we'll get a velodrome built here. But Sam did come back. He was he spent Ireland, uh, he spent lockdown in in Ireland up at home in, in Carrick on Shore. He said at the time that he was fearful if the tour hadn't actually gone ahead. That you know the commercial back ground to, that keeps the sport rolling along would struggle. Obviously, it has taken place now. It's all over our screens. He was all over our front pages. Mm. That sense of commercial appeal, obviously, he rides in a shirt which has got lots of sponsor logos on them, but those will be the team ones. We spotted little on it from, uh, yeah. from within our own membership here. In terms of his personal career, what might this mean in terms of value for him from a commercial perspective? Um, I guess it's if, with, with professional cycling, as you alluded to, it's, it's quite a complicated uh, model in, in how it operates. It's, it's hard to monetize the sport. You, you can't fill a stadium like you can with, with our own uh, football or hurling or, or, uh, or other sports. So cycling always has that battle. Um, I think for Sam going forward, yeah, we would very much love for Irish brands to actually take notice now that we have someone performing at the highest level of the sport. Uh, in an Irish national champions jersey, um, so an average, an average year for Sam would see him compete across Europe, the UK, Asia, the US, and he's he's wearing a green, white, and gold jersey. Um, so I guess we, yeah, we would we would like Irish brands to kind of sit back and, and, and take note uh, and possibly look to align with with Sam going forward. If you look. The past number of years, there there is a shift with with companies and corporates putting on their own uh, corporate bike rides and, and inviting their own staff and their own key clients. Um, that's something that Sam has done in Ireland already with a number of companies. Um, so yeah, our our door is certainly open, and we, we would love to explore those opportunities with uh, with Irish brands. Have you had a chance to speak to him since the win? Uh, yeah, his phone has been has been pretty busy as you could imagine. But um, and I know Sean Kelly sent him a nice a nice video message congratulating him and uh, telling him to keep his feet on the ground and and, and try and make sure he can uh, he he has a chance to back it up with another stage win today. So um, yeah, we're all we're all behind him and, and hoping this is the first of many Tour de France stage wins. He posted a great. Um 
reply on Twitter that his was a it was a glass full of emotion after the after the the post race interview yesterday. Sometimes it's those uh, unscripted moments that actually come to define. But he's he's obviously an emotional guy. This was obviously a a, a big uh, event from what what's his. What's his move now after the tour? What's the what does the cycling schedule look like for the rest of this year? Uh, quite interesting because it's still relatively unknown. Um, the, there was a big fear that the tour wouldn't wouldn't actually go ahead, and there's still a fear that it won't actually get to Paris, depending on on uh, on, on COVID conditions and and, uh, and 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 positive. So the rest of the season is laid out. Um, but it, it's it's quite different to how it would normally look. Um, there's a World Championships in in a couple of weeks' time um, in uh, in Imola, um, but the the course for Sam is, is is probably too too hilly and too hard. Uh, with Sam being a pure sprinter, so uh, he will certainly race probably another twenty to thirty days this year. Um, and possibly try and get back and defend his his Irish national champions jersey, uh, which is in Limerick in October. Um, I know I know that jersey is quite special to Sam and a chance to wear his uh, his national jersey throughout uh, throughout Europe is something that's that's valuable and, and important to him. So hopefully he can try and come back and uh, and defend that. Well, he's guaranteed himself a place on the showreel of highlights from the sporting year in 2020. We wish him the very best of luck with the rest of the tour and the best of luck to you in terms of helping him to make the most of what was a very spectacular moment in Irish sporting history. So for the moment, anyway, Jamie Barlow from Trinity Sports Management. Thank you very much. Thanks for your time, Rob. Take care.